Good evening. We are a pharmacy students of Universidad Nacional de Colombia. Her name is Catalina Pineda. And his name is Julian David Figueroa. And we're going to talk about the importance of vegetal secondary metabolites in the discovery of a new active molecule. Okay, let's start saying. A metabolite is a any substance produced by complex systems for survival. For example, our body or plants. The metabolites are produced for all organisms in the nature. In the vegetal kingdom, exist two types of metabolism, the primary metabolism and the secondary metabolism. In each one, the production are very different. Let's see. In the first, the primary metabolites are produced for mainly activities. All of them are to survive or are essential to live. They are atypical for each plant and have common pathways for the synthesis of different kinds of products. In the secondary metabolites are produced substances in some conditions that are very particular, but its functions are unknown in a 100%. Okay, in secondary metabolisms, there are several theories about the origin of these metabolites. In the first instance, we have compounds generate bad mutations in the proteins, for example, or in the DNA. Also, we consider a metabolite generate as a result of the evolutionary process in the organism. And finally, we found the compounds produced by enzymes deactivation. Furthermore, the research tools are very important to make a successful discovery of new active molecules. Then, we want to show you three tools that we have. The first tool that I mentioned is the high throughput screen. The second tool is the combinatorial chemistry. And finally, the third tool is the chemical diversity of nature. So, in this point, we must think in what strategies can be used to discover new molecules for drug development. And the answer is the screening and check traditional medicine. For use the tool that my parents mentioned, we need to ask about the selection sample. But how do we select the samples? The answer is easy. We can do this selection based on the following criteria. First is chemotaxonomic, second is ethnopharmacological, and finally Ecological observation in the past related with traditional use or pla of plants. Later we will tell you about these topics. There are stages in the life of a plant where the concentration of bioactive compounds is greater. Identify those plants material possibly containing higher levels of bioactive compound is so important. One example is the defense compounds that the plants use for repel insects. The, type, the type's defense compounds are three. The first is the constitutively expressed by biochemical activation. The second is the compounds expressed in certain cells or tissues. And finally, the synthetically induced compounds. All of these types, we will show you each one.
the constitutively expressed compounds. These compounds are typically produced in a particular part of the plant, like life, growth, flowers, fruit, etc. For example, we found the cinchona. It is an alkaloid produced in the cinchona succirura plant. A review concluded that the biosynthetic activity of these compounds was higher in young leaf and stem. This showed to us that the quantity of the alkaloids is bigger in the young period of the plant. The second type of defense compounds is the biochemically activated compounds. They are substances that have an activity in the first instance because they need a previous activation process for pass from the inactive form to the active form. These molecules are activated by a biochemical reaction using enzymes. These enzymes are one kind of proteins. The example of these compounds is the Cataranthus roseus, who have a molecule named Strictocidine. These substances have an antimicrobial activity when the molecule suffers a modification process via glucosidase enzymes. We can see this in the scan. The synthetically induced compounds. There are another defense mechanisms that the plant uses to stay alive. There are mainly two ways to do this. The first way is the biochemical activation of molecules that are present in the plant, like in active form, and that with the correct stimulation, like the presence of bug, this becomes active for repel the attack. The second way is the production of signaling molecules that correspond to the synthesis process of a specific substance that alert to the plant that must be defended. Examples of these substances are the phytoxanthins and the typical molecules of each species. From this point of view, we can find a lot of molecules that have an important activity, but also we can also research in unhealthy plants, for example. The chemotaxonomic approach. Throughout a chemotaxonomic approach, we can make a screening of substances that have a unique and specific feature. Similarly, for example, a molecule which has a well-known biological activity. From this point of view, the vegetal kingdom are the inexhaustible source or secondary metabolites, because in the same families we can find different metabolites, even all the species are part of the same family. Ethnopharmacological approach. This approach is related plants plants used by the aboriginal of each country, where these plants have an invaluable value for the knowledge. Also says to us that the validation of the traditional knowledge is the best indicative for biological activity. Importantly, 
the use of plants as medicines in of great importance in many countries. Now, we're going to talk about destruction methods. With all destruction methods, several primary metabolites are extracted and frequently in a poor quantities. This is a great problem. The extraction process depends on three variables mainly. The first, solvent nature. The second, interaction between the solvents for a successfully process of extraction and the intrinsic properties of the raw Finally, we tell you about the conclusions of this presentation. The first conclusion is all approaches are possible, but they have problems which could be solved. However, some compounds are about to know exist on the final fractions to detection of its biologic activity. The second conclusion is that traditional use is another approach to discover bioactive compounds and could offer an important reward as the validation of traditional medicine which have a great impact from the point of view of the access to the drugs. This is all. Thanks for your attention. See you later.